What's up guys? The single leg squat, the pistol squat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, tough one to get. I'm going to show you a couple variations and a couple ways that you can train for this to get a little bit better at it. Um, the first one I want to point out is the seated single leg squat. Now this can be at any height you need it to be. You would start out on a bench or a box, or you could even put plates on the bench and get up as high as you need to be. We'll have one leg out in front, one knee bent. Now in this one, it's advantageous to try to be able to get your knee out at least to your toes, if not past, but the caveat being the heel has to stay down. So you need some range of motion in your Achilles for this. I'm gonna show you how to get more of it uh, towards the end of the video. So keep in mind, we want the knee to be out by the toes to be able to get leverage on this exercise. I know the old saying, you can't go knee over the toes. If you have the range of motion of your ankles, if, you're, if your heel is staying down, it's not gonna beat your knees up. It's only when we're gonna lift that heel that we're gonna get that shearing in the knee joint. So, from this position to practice, one leg out, up. If you can't do that, try training wheels. You're gonna tap the heel down as you stand and give yourself a little spot. Now, generally speaking, I don't want you to kind of plop on these. I would rather you just try to figure out how to stand up and then just reset the motion and just kind of work the concentric in the beginning. I think on this one, you need to figure out kind of the momentum and how to get up out of it. And then little by little, you can work on how to get down into it. Okay. When you get comfortable on this, you could try a little bit lower bench or box or whatever, or you could try higher and just start working the eccentric version. So you could go to the edge of a box or a bench and just slowly lower into it and then do a step up. And this is a great scalable way to learn how to do your pistol squat. Okay. Gradually over time, you can try to work on keeping your leg higher than the box because you're going to need to be able to do that in your regular pistol and then step up out of it. Once you get comfortable there, you can start working on the floor. Now, the problem with doing them on the floor is nobody has any range of motion in their ankles. So we need to figure out how to get more. The best way to do that is to elevate your ankles and work that dorsiflex position. So what I usually recommend, figure out a way with mats or plates or whatever you want. Elevate your heels, sit them down, and get used to this single leg position. You don't even have to stand up on this one. You can just kind of work the balance. Gradually, as you get better at this, take the plates out, have a seat, see if you can find that position without the plates. From there, you can work on standing up out of it. And that's how we can work on your single leg squat. Incorporate it however you need to into your workouts. Hopefully I scaled it enough for you and gave you some ideas on how to get it better.